An ancient martial art with a rich history of well over 1,000 years, the basis of which originated in Okinawa. Its original form, known simply as Te, was taught to the Okinawans by Chinese experts, but was later hybridized and eventually spread to mainland Japan. Karate Do, or the Way of the Empty Hand, boasts millions of practitioners around the globe and has been present in Trinidad and Tobago for decades. We chat with two very young karatekas who practice this ancient art and have already amassed hundreds of medals and trophies between them both. Let's meet the brother and sister duo. My name is Chelsea Winter and my name is Kristen Winter. I have been doing karate since I was two and a half years old, since I was born. I love the discipline it encourages. Um, it helps us seek perfection in our character. We are faithful to the sport. We are able to express ourselves through the art form. I love that. I love the passion, as Chelsea said, the discipline it encourages. And I love everything. How we strike, block, you know, expressing ourselves through the art form. It's no secret that karate helps inculcate discipline and other positive attributes, but its principles, as the winters tell us, helps them in other areas of their lives as well. So, while they have a passion for the sport, they ensure that they also excel at school and achieve balance in their lives and, though they are already accomplished in their art, the training doesn't stop. They tell us a little about what they are up to now and how they have been coping through the pandemic. School, yes. Yes, um, we actually have a routine where we will train in the morning and do our necessary training and stuff. And then in the evening, we go to school, we do our assignments and so on. So as you can see from our belt, we balance both education and karate. It's actually really good because our, par our coping mechanism with our parents is really good to help us with our time, time management. Time management. Time management. So, yeah. So, yeah. Through their karate school or dojo, Team Elite Karate, they have participated in numerous competitions and tournaments which have pitted them against opponents from the region and internationally, against whom they have copped many deserved victories. I started competing since I was three and Chris, since, <laughs> since, since I was old enough to do, to compete, I was competing. Chris, I'll so throughout the Caribbean. Throughout the Caribbean. Yeah. Nationally, and also with the COVID, we have our parents, our coaches, sign us up for online events, which we were also successful at in England and Switzerland. The Winter siblings also share their greatest aspiration for their martial art career. We would say reaching the highest level of yeah. the Olympics and winning and making a medal. Although quite young, when asked the question, what advice she would give to a young person who aspires to be as accomplished as she and her brother are, Chelsea leaves us with inspirational words that anyone could carry for a lifetime. Keep focus. I would say be humble at all times. I would say always be respectful and keep positive. So, as we see with these young champs, finding something you love, putting in the work, sticking to a plan, and having the right support system around you is what makes the difference between success or failure whether it is martial arts, academics, or anything else for that matter. As for me, I have some rust to shake off. I'm Carrie Roberts, giving voice to Generation Next for TTT News.